when I saw Guantanamo open and saw people taken there uh, in their orange jumpsuits and in chains and was told they were the worst of the worst, I thought, you know, this is great, we're getting bad guys. Um, it became apparent to me after that that what the government was doing in Guantanamo was a direct challenge to the rule of law. I'm probably the only guy you're going to meet who's actually uh, had a court date. and. There was an atmosphere of lawlessness. When I got there, I was told that they could be starting military commissions very soon. I found that to be interesting because there were no defense counsel. Every single witness request that went to the presiding officers from the defense, the presiding officers rejected every single one. I have no idea why he's at Guantanamo. I have no idea why he was transferred to the Americans. I have no idea what the United States says that this man did. Ours is not a country that accepts the idea that a person can be cast into a dungeon based on the mere say-so of the jailer. A lot of lawyers today um, concentrate on law as a way to make money, but ultimately lawyers are also the guardians of the rule of law. The Constitution is, is there not necessarily just to protect individual people, but to protect the structure of our government. Lawyers going down there represented the reestablishment of hope. It was one of the most moving experiences I've seen. This is the most fundamental human rights issue of our generation. 